A playlist update has come for Halo Reach on the MCC. Though it is rather minor, it does play a big part of what could come for Halo Reach in the future. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news update video when it comes to Halo. Today we're talking about Halo Reach and the recent update for the playlist that it received on the MCC for Xbox and PC. So we're going to go over the details on that one guys. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel and video a lot. And if you want to, you know, state your opinion on these changes, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel or want to stay up to date with anything going on in Halo, make sure to tap subscribe, guys. We keep you guys up to date with everything going on in the community. So let's get right into the video here. Now, as Halo Reach has recently joined the lovely family of games on the MCC, there are some changes that need to be made to kind of update to give people a better gaming experience. Now, these changes are minor, but I do want to give my thoughts afterwards of what this could mean in the future of Halo Reach and just the MCC just in general. So, let's get right into the facts here. So, we have some changes coming to SWAT Social, um, and we also have Grip All Social, a lot of free-for-all changes, and some heroic firefight changes coming in for you guys here. So, so first off, let's start with the SWATness. The SWAT numbs on Powerhouse and Penance have been retired, which I don't know about that one really. I mean, I understand maybe Penance because Penance is a very interesting map, which I kind of want to talk about later on in this video, why I think we might not see that map lasting long, along very much longer when it comes to competitive side of things. Uh, we also have 44 Griff Ball. The frequency of vanilla Griff Ball has been increased. Which is kind of surprising because I think that was like the main setting that they chose for vanilla, but maybe it's just a mixed in option kind of thing. Uh, also, now these are all going to be a lot of free for all changes here coming for uh, that and also including infection for free for all. Uh, a player free for all, Slayer Armor Lock has been added to the loadout offerings. Great! I'm sure a lot of people love that change. <laughs> Um, with the title update armor lock really isn't that bad, but it's still quite annoying, especially when it comes to free for all I can imagine. Uh, but people want it, I'm sure that's probably why they added it in. Uh, for a player free for all, lowered the frequency for the following maps in rotation: Boardwalk, Uplink, which is condemned, uh, ch uh, updated, uh, Solitary, and Penance. I can pretty much agree with all of those changes because condemned is a pretty large map. Uh, it'd be pretty tough to find people and it's, I think it's built for more like a probably more built for more multi-team if anything uh, for 4v4 socials I feel like the play is rather slow boardwalk yeah it's a pretty large map it that game almost go always went time limit back in the day so I can see that changing and it's all especially penance penance is just a it's a weird map it's okay for social but like when you're trying to do free for all on that one I could feel like being kind of odd uh, so they also have uh, for free for all Slayer game types, um, they increase the frequency for the following maps in rotation. So maps like Asylum, Pinnacle, and Uncaged have been increased. Uh, that's a great thing right there because those are all very solid maps that we're all very familiar of. Uh, Asylum being the remake of Sanctuary, Pinnacle being a remake of the Halo 2 map Ascension in Forge, which is great, and Uncaged, which is basically an updated version of Caged, which is uh, not exactly one of the greatest maps ever, but it's kind of iconic to the um, Reach experience, so I would expect to see that map playing. I haven't even played that map once. I've played a bunch of games on social that I haven't come across Caged or Uncaged yet, so uh, looking forward to that, cer certainly. Uh, we have two changes coming for Infection here for 12 player free for all Infection Alpha Zombies on Deadwalk, which is Boardwalk, uh, Powerless, which is Powerhouse, have been retired. Check those things out right there. And also for Infection, Vanilla uh, on Spooky Base, which is Sword Base, Downlink, which is Condemned, and Quarantine, which is a remake of, with a, diff a variation of Solitary, have also been retired on top of that. So those are the changes when it comes to Infections. It just kicked out a few mo maps and even a few modes as well. And Heroic Firefight had a big change for it, whereas its unlimited lives have been added to the generator defense, which is probably a good change. I've played some Heroic Firefight, and I've definitely noticed like, when it comes to those defending modes, it kind of piles everyone together, and then you have vehicles and a bunch of ways and ways all again, you know, condensed into one centered location. Uh, deaths certainly happen a lot, which can really hurt your chances of progressing through Heroic Firefight. So 
glad to see that happen. So yeah, those are all the current updates happening right now on uh, the MCC. Like I said, it's rather minor, but what this does show to me, what it could provide in the future with some more uh, feedback from the community and also more uh, information coming from our way as well, that we could see uh, certain maps and modes being removed from the game to kind of help give us a better experience. Uh, I know right now, uh, with the, especially with the competitive settings on Halo Reach, we have the maps uh, like it was a Beaver Creek. I can't remember the, the remake now if it is, and uh, the and Penance, which is the remake of Damnation from CE. Now, uh, Damnation is a great map. Don't get me wrong; like it's a very unique map. The aesthetics are great, and it plays well for like fun social modes for when you just want to hop in and play. But for competitive side of things, it doesn't really play super well. We've seen some videos uh, brought up from Stress and also Proximity as well. I think also brought this up on top of that. Talk about how that map does not really play out very well. I've seen some tweets as well from pro players saying like, when you see Penance in the matchmaking, you're just like, damn it. <laughs> and so I would probably expect to see some tweaks happening with the uh, hardcore settings. Obviously, those are a little bit harder of a, a little bit, bit bigger of a stone to move than uh, any of these social matchmakings because whatever is in the hardcore setting is going to be played on the competitive side of things as well. So you got to make sure to take, keep that into consideration while playing. And this also, this also does give me some good hope to see a better rotation of maps in uh, the MCC version of Rage. Right now, it does seem like it's uh, we're getting a lot of repeats at the moment, and we definitely would like to see a lot more a variety. Uh, just because there are, you know, we had years and years of Forge maps being implemented, changes being implemented in the Reach to see uh, just like a select few maps get a lot of play, and then some of the other great maps not so much. It's a little disheartening, and so I'm really glad to see that they're tuning the waiting and even removing some maps as well, maps and modes as well, to help give us a better game time experience. So what I want to say in this video, guys, is ask you a question of what do you want to see change when it comes to the map and playlist rotations right now in Halo, specifically even Halo, Halo Reach, if you want to go into that. You know, uh, like I said, I certainly state in my opinion, I think Pendants might need to go when it comes to ranked modes. Uh, it's because it doesn't, it's, it's not a ranked map. Like it might have worked pretty well back in CE, back in 2001, but in uh, 2010, it, it was only available, I think, for one MLG uh, setting match, which was a V7, which they decided to go with. Uh, so it just, it's weird that they went with that choice. Not my first choice, obviously. And so I want to ask you guys what you would like to see be changed. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on, on the channel and in the Halo community, make sure you tap subscribe to keep you guys up to date with everything going on in the Halo community. Uh, check out the videos on the screen right now if you missed any content from me recently. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.